the See Jane Go TV podcast, episode three. It's Jane. And it's JV. And it's time for episode three. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so as you can see, well, on the visual version, uh, we have two microphones now. As you can see. Yeah. Well, I kind of. Auditorially. Kinda, I jury rigged. Jury rigged? What is it? I don't know. <laughs> I, um, I jury rigged some kind of. Uh, I have to get some programs and figure it out, but we're still trying to get the audio down. It might be getting better. Yeah, this is a bit better. It might be a little, still a little wonky, but this is yeah. a learning experience. We have two mics. Jane has her own. I have my. I'm hugging my mic. We have um, what are they called? It's cold. Um, those <laughs> things that cover it that make the sound a little better. I forget oh, what it's called so right now. You know all the oh. names of everything. <laughs> when the camera's on, I forget everything. <laughs> um, yeah, so it should sound a little bit better. Um, Jane, we have a unique situation right now because. My voice picks up on my microphone, mm -hmm. but for some reason, when Jane talks, her, her voice is <laughs> such a weird high pitch that it picks it's up such on a what? <laughs> what did you say? High pitch. Oh, you said weird first. No, no, it's just it's just really high pitch mm. and unique. It picks up on my microphone, unique. so you might be hearing some a little bit of uh, echo, but but you get to hear my voice twice. <laughs> I mean, what could be bad about that? Yeah. So the way we're doing the, we're doing it right now was <laughs> we're kind of like picking topics. And yeah. um, going down rabbit holes, just talking about different different things we either we think of or we see in the comments. You guys yeah. can actually leave. Or in the live stream, we've been asked questions too. That yeah, we've thought about exactly. Yeah, we encourage you guys to leave uh, in the comments stuff you want to know about us, questions, topics you want us to talk about, and look who it is. Look who loves the podcast. Hi, baby Bimo. She comes to every just podcast. Knock everything over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you probably like, why is the mic in the middle? What's going on? Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so. Okay, so it is podcast number three. And JV, why is three a special number to us? Oh, because both of our birthdays are on the third. Yeah. Which is freaking awesome. Yeah, so yours just passed pretty much. Yeah, mine is April 3rd. Yeah. Justin is December 3rd. And then BMO is the 26th, which is three plus three. For the last number oh my gosh um so yeah some of you guys <laughs> she's december 26th she's so, boxing day cat some of you guys saw the live stream with uh jane's birthday that was pretty cool and unique like we never done a birthday stream before Didn't, no we had a birthday stream for you but it oh wasn't, yeah yeah it wasn't quite the same no because i did all this yeah, cool stuff for you it was really awesome <laughs> yeah yeah. So I just and I realized like we can always go back and watch and birthday. watch that birthday stream. Like yeah, I I, so I brought out all these surprises for. It. If you guys haven't seen it, uh, I highly recommend really nice. you check it out. Uh, it's, like, it's like Jane's birthday live stream. You can look it up on our video section. Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Shoot. I just had was it, it something about how great BMO is? No. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. So if you guys are watching the visual version, I highly recommend on YouTube. I highly recommend you listen. You you. Listen to it. Yeah. Yeah. Jane is super distracted. Whenever I'm BMO not. comes, she just like That's <laughs> forgets that we're, we're in a podcast. Look how just... pretty she looks. I know, but um, she's so shiny. Guys, today my mom got terrible, horrible news. Hold on, I'm trying to get oh. them to go to the app. Okay, well you do, you do that, and then I'll tell them about the horrible news. Okay, that they have so, to wait until your announcement. To okay, find yes, out about. I'm trying to plug stuff. Okay, so if you're watching it on YouTube, highly recommend you go to your iTunes or um, any Android device, download the podcast app, or on iTunes you can just search CJ and Go TV. Subscribe to us over there; it really helps us out. The audio version is like you can listen to it while you're driving to work, while you're cleaning your house, while you're taking a shower. Is that what it sounded like you were gonna say something else? No. With a shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> like a poopy. Yeah. No. It sounded like you were gonna say that. So yeah, it's <laughs> just because you live in a podcast and you're doing a poopy doesn't mean that everybody does. If that's a little bit uh, that's too, always my cue, guys. Yeah, if you guys know, podcast turns out I'm like, oh, steer clear of the second. Oh floor. my gosh, Jay. <laughs> it's too much TMI. <laughs> so um, if you if you have. Also, if you have a SoundCloud account, there is a link in the description on the YouTube video. Just scroll down, click the link, and it goes to our SoundCloud. Follow us there, and you can download the episode, listen to it on your phone, whenever you want. Like, Because the video version, you have to kind of sit there and watch it. Yeah. And then if you go somewhere else on your phone, it closes the, the, the sound. Yeah, yeah. So if you have SoundCloud, um, you can just listen to it and do other stuff on your phone, which is pretty cool. So I highly recommend that. 
Um, should I tell them the news that my mom got the horrible, terrible news? Okay, tell them. So my mom, she went to the doctor today and she had some tests done. And uh, they were allergy tests. She found out she's allergic to cats. Highly allergic. Highly allergic. Like, she broke out really heavy. You made it seem like it was going to be a lot worse than that. That is the worst. Like, if I was ever told that I was allergic to cats... You made it seem like she was sick or something. I couldn't live. (laughs) You're like, she got some very bad news. Yes. Like, I would live... Like, if I didn't have you, I would have six or seven cats. Really? Yeah. That's too much. No. You just need one. Imagine they would all sleep around me and we would snuggle. Oh, and gosh. And they would purr. You'd be a cat oh. lady. You'd be for sure I a cat lady. I you. She's going to bite me. Yeah, she's in bite mode. Yeah, she has bite face on. <laughs> um, okay, let's get to the first topic. That was horrible news, though. I couldn't imagine. Yeah. So who, who wants to go first? You want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. Um, I think that this is fitting based on the news that my mom got. Um, what was your first pet and then um follow up um like first pet even if you don't remember them um i kind of my my like you came out of the womb and then first what pet. was the first pet it was this like orange cat like this really wild orange cat i remember when i was like a, a really little kid and it was so untrained and it was vicious it would scratch me and just yeah. wild cat but we had mice so i think that's why my parents got it but again they're from jamaica and they just like treated like, it poorly well yeah and it's just like yeah. it's here to kill the mice that's it that's it's what not, the cat was for yeah to, we're not gonna to take care of the rodent problem exactly we're not yeah. gonna like pet it we're not gonna treat it nice it's just like it's here for a job and then it goes outside and like you know so it was like yeah. this pretty much a wild cat living in my house so that was my first was first experience name? i have no idea i don't remember its name i should ask yeah. But it was just so wild and it would scratch me all the time. It's just terrible memories it a of a cat. cat. Yeah, like this orange, I remember this orange and what wild age cat. Do you remember being? Man, I don't know, around four maybe? Four? Yeah, really early. Wow. It was a terrible cat. But it would always kill the mice in the basement and then it would like play with it, play with them and throw yeah. them around and like present them to us and stuff. <laughs> really gross. Um it's like when BMO eats flies and throws them up so I clean it up. What about you? Uh, what was your first my pet? First pet. So, came out of the womb, untimely ripped. I was a C-section. Um, that's a Shakespearean reference, by the way. Untimely ripped means you didn't come out when you were supposed to. Not see, aware. The doctor took. It's fine. Not aware. Anyway, <laughs> um, so uh, I came out, and then we had a dog, and the dog's name was Brandy, and it was. Um, a beagle mix, like a whole bunch of things. So, you know, beagles have really short legs. So, um, Brandy was really an older dog. I actually don't know how old, uh, when I was born. And, um, my mom said she like felt like she was my mom, like Brandy did. Right. So as I was getting bigger, like she passed away when I was two, but I would be laying on the floor and she would come lay next to me and I would grab onto her hair, like with my tight little baby fists. And then she would get up and go for walks, and I'd be like on her back. Why, really? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> like I'd be riding her. Yeah, but they used to ride their she dog. She had short legs, night. so if I fell off, it didn't hurt. Yeah, wow, that's yeah. pretty cool. Um, that actually really happened in real life. In real life. Remember, you remember Rugrats, that TV show? I, I do remember. I never really watched. I think watched Tommy it. used to ride the bike, uh, ride the dog. Yeah, I I would Not latch too, uh, onto Brandy's hair as yeah. hard as I could, and Brandy would take around. me around. And we had carpet, so it was okay. It was safe. Wow. But she took care of me. And um, yeah, there's so many pictures of Brandy and I, and I'm just like a little baby. And my mom's trying to get me to look at the camera, and um, I'm just staring at Brandy. Like, I, I was totally. Yeah. I remember your dad talking talking about Brandy. Like, yeah. he would never. I think he was really hurt by the death because he yes. always was like, I'm never going to get another pet because I don't want to deal with the. Yeah. For, he, he makes it seem like he doesn't want to <laughs> deal with another pet, but I yeah. think it's because. He was hurt it was it was so it hard passed, for him. Yeah. He he wouldn't go when my mom put him down. Uh, put Brandy down. Sorry, he, uh, my dad didn't go to the vet. Oh yeah. Uh, when Brandy died, but uh, my dad was a police officer, and um, this is like gosh, this is forever ago. But uh, my mom was alone a lot, and so he bought brandy so my mom wouldn't be scared <laughs> to be alone because you know this is his guard dog. 
And then Brandy was such, turned out to be such a wuss. She would, um, if she heard a noise, she would jump on the bed and go under the covers and go, woo, woo, <laughs> under the covers by my mom's feet. So like give away their location oh and everything. Gosh. And my mom would be like, damn it, Brandy, damn it. <laughs> and she'd have to like go downstairs and check what the noise was. <laughs> you know, yeah. It was great. Um, you know when you said you used to hold on to brandy's uh fur yeah, yeah. Here, and like i would and then I, some for some reason i thought of like dangerous things i did as a kid yeah so one of the like stupid dangerous things i used to do as a kid for fun i used to get go to the top of the stairs and like curl up into a ball and roll down what? the stairs <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i think it was carpet but still like how That's, are you alive? I don't know. That, that you know was... these stories. <laughs> Can you imagine coming home and like your kid is like rolling down the stairs no, like, like a I ball? I would think that their neck would break or something. <laughs> well, but it was like a tight ball I would get into and like roll down. Why? I don't know. You're so haunted. Like, it doesn't even make sense. Like Some of the stories you tell... I'm just like. Did you ever do the thing with the mattress in the bed? Like you get a mattress and slide down the stairs. Um, as a, are you asking me like as a child? Yeah, you, yeah, not like not yesterday. As a child. Well, you did it as a <laughs> as not, like in university or yeah. something. Yeah. Oh. So in I university, um, we had to come back early because we had training camp. We were going to California, and we came back a few days early, and it was a new residence, and for whatever reason, maintenance had. Or they had left the maintenance key in the elevator over the break. And there was only track people there. So we took the elevator to the basement. And there were all these mattresses. Old so, mattresses? No, no, brand new. It was brand new building. Oh. So we lined the stairs with mattresses. <laughs> and then we got in our rollerblades. What? Yeah, and we were rollerblading down the mattresses. What? And, like, and then we put it, it was like cement wall, but we had the mattress there and we'd smash into the mattress. And then you'd go down the next level and it was like all on our rollerblades. That is super dangerous. I know. We could have broken like our ankles. We could have broken How, our spine. Was it just like a small stairs? And it then, was or like, just like a um, bunch of like, like a condo style. Oh, okay. So you kind of go. So like yeah. That. So like it's like that. And then there's a, like a down and the oh, flat okay. part and then down and the flat part. Yeah. We yeah kept so it wasn't that far down. No. But still, that's pretty um, And here's worse. There was no alcohol involved. Like this was, we were in our <laughs> right minds. Yeah. And but just like idiots. Yeah. So I, well, what I would, me and my friends would do as a kid. I'm talking like eight or nine. Yeah. We get like a. I was. I, was in university. I know. <laughs> we get like a. What are the smallest mats? Like a single or a double or single, whatever um, it was. Yeah, twin. If someone had one, the parents usually the parents would be gone. Do you have a mattress? Yeah, a mattress. Yeah, yeah, so we would bring the whoever's mattress. We just take it out of their room oh, and go to the top of the stairs, and then like we get on. It? Yeah, we'd ride down the stairs like oh. a toboggan. It was so it was super fun. It wasn't that dangerous. So it was really fun. Some, something else that we did in the university that wasn't uh, mattresses was. Um, the, at the boys house the cross country boys house this is like Dave and Brandon and these guys like uh, just these guys that I knew um, they had a big box like someone had got something and they got a box and there was like two of them or three of them they got in the box and they lined it with pillows and then they they duct taped a pillow to their head like each of them and then they rode the box down the stairs <laughs> <laughs> and they were like fourth year university yeah. near the end and when they boxed like it's all on film yeah. and it, like not videotaped like we're talking people were snapping pictures with their like, oh. camera that you had to go yeah, and develop yeah. the pictures and um, when it hit the bottom the box tore open yeah and I knew it out. I was gonna say and the box like <laughs> get torn up it on the way down like, I couldn't for years I couldn't look at the pictures mm. without crying laughing, laughing. damn yeah. you don't know where they are eh? they're gone the forever yeah no, um, oh, I do know where they are, but I'll, I'll never get them back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, all right, so it kind of went a little Unless off topic there. It might possibly be in the garage, because remember my parents dropped off that Yeah, thing. that big box. Yeah, if they're there, like, oh, we got to look at those. Yeah. It's, there's so many times from <clears throat> university that I look back and I'm like, what, like, how can allegedly intelligent people be so stupid (laughs) yeah i did a lot of things man you think you did stupid stuff i did so much (laughs) stupid stuff i have like that's nothing like i have way more but we'll get to those organically yeah um let's think what else is there okay i was gonna ask you a question about like um i know a lot of people growing up kind of like 
you hear of people being like not ready for parenthood yeah. and like being scared and like are you, people say like no I don't think I don't think anyone's ever ready but yeah, like we, we just saw that on Teen Mom yeah we saw that on Teen Mom. Teen Mom um she got me hooked on it it's, yeah. it's so <laughs> stupid but I just I can't stop and it's just like when it's on and I'm like doing the dishes or something I'm just like oh it's so dumb and then I'll sit down and then I'm like I can't <laughs> well, that's it watch I can't it for I like can't yeah because oh, okay anyway yeah. but um i'm hooked we kind of have Team like when, OG, when, when we talk to each other we're like we think that we're so ready for it we're like man yeah. we're so ready we know what we're doing we're gonna do this that but i kind of a feeling like we might get like blindsided and be like oh really God. not, not Our ready butts kicked. yeah because i think we're ready because we have so many more advantages than than our parents. Yeah. Like we have like if there's a problem, we could look it up. We could instantly go on like on yeah. on Google, look it up and go on YouTube, look it up. We can email our doctors and find out. Yeah. But back then, they kind of like they didn't know. They had to no, walk to the library and do research book, yeah. or like ask a friend of a friend, you know, with a, and yeah, both of our parents are immigrants. So like yeah. we have like such a big advantage, but at the same time, I'm like what if we're not ready. We're not ready because I, as you, as you said the other day, each kid is gonna have their own um, personality. Yeah. You can only teach them so much. Like, what if, what if she's a jerk? <laughs> <laughs> I love you, sweetheart. If you're watching this, I really I hope Daddy had said that. <laughs> I hope she's not because you know how like some some pets like if you can get like a cat that's yeah. a really nice cat and you get a cat that's like a jerk. Like no being matter. on like eighty percent, uh, like sixty five percent time is amazing. Yeah, to us. To us. Like when no one's here, to us she's like the best. Like and to me, I'd say eighty percent of the time she's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me too. Like when. Yeah. And then, but as soon as someone else walks in that door, she's she'll like hiss at them. She'll like swat jerk. them. Like yeah, she's yeah. a complete jerk. And but so, and then people can't believe that she's this beautiful thing that we talk about. Yeah. And that we love so much. Like how can you even like her? Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm kind of afraid. Like, yeah. like we can train her to be or teach her to be like this, like a nice person and like a good little girl. But what if she's just like, not? Like, I mean, she could be a sociopath. Like yeah. we we know that that exists. Yeah. And like, no matter how hard your parents try, sometimes they can raise a person that's crazy. Like, not I, that's the wrong word. Sometimes they can raise up her. Hi, baby. We, I, t- I was telling daddy how much I love you and how nice you are to everybody. Um, sorry if you we weren't just up, talking smack about you. you yeah. Um, but sometimes your parents can raise uh, or your parents can raise a child and they turn out to be a sociopath. And mm-hmm. there's nothing that the parents can do. Like there's nothing they could have changed. Like that's the, the chemical reaction that happened in that kid's brain. And uh, man. Yeah, it's 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 like I'm excited and I'm like super scared at the same time because like the first how long are they just like a little remember that baby we saw today? Yeah, like, that baby loved us. We like, were in the uh, OB's office. Yeah, OBG. What YN. is it? YN. So yeah. like every two weeks she has to gynecologist. Jane has to get checkups every, every two week weeks. Now. now it's every week. Yeah. We're coming up on the end, like yeah. six weeks left. And I've been having some trouble. <clears throat> so now it's every week, even though it's not supposed to be yet. Yeah. Um so you know like how how long does it take until they're like a person? Like because Do the you think first that, that little girl we said today was a person. Yeah, I think around that time. I think she was about six months old. You think six? I thought it was eight, but like at yeah. first they're just like a little burrito that doesn't yeah. do anything. You know, they like, don't even kinda... smile till about three months. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to when she's like turning into like. Yeah, and we teach her to give her dabs like good night, baby girl. <laughs> no, I don't want to teach her something like that. Yeah, that'd no, be that, it'll be funny, but then she's gonna like, like, yeah. a lot of people do that. They teach their baby to like do things like that, like, like. Yeah. But daps and like high fiving is one thing, but middle finger no, and like swearing that. and stuff. I don't even like to swear now. I know, but I've see, we've seen those kids that do that. Yeah. And it's, I just I think it's so that. terrible. Yeah. Like it's a funny. I guess it's funny to some people. I don't think it's funny to see a child swearing. I don't think it's no. funny to see a teenager swearing. No, no, it's not funny to me. It's funny but to see an adult swearing. but for some, I've seen other people like, look what my kid can do, like yeah. swear, give the finger or something, and then they all laugh. Chug this beer, <laughs> like 
What? Chug a beer? Yeah. A kid? Yeah. No. I've seen an eight-year-old chug a beer. Not a whole beer, but like chug some On beer. the internet, like a no. video. No. This is when I was growing up. This is like this, this dad. What? Uh, yeah. It was, she's like, oh, look. This, so this girl, we were going to camp together. And she's like, um, oh, my daddy always gives my sister beer. And he's like, yeah, watch this. Here, chug this. And she like, t- there's like this much left. And she just chugs it. And she's like. Uh, like big burp after and he's like yeah she was like eight eight or nine what the heck and i'm just there and i think i was 12 and i remember thinking like it's okay yeah that's not good that's not good at all man that's terrible So none of that um what do you think of man this is a kind of i gotta phrase this right um (laughs) people that are like on the fence about having kids um, like, cause, cause a lot of people are pressured by their parents constantly. Like, when yeah. are you gonna have a kid? Like, for me, my parents, old, my dad especially, your dad was always uh, like with that. asking like, and yeah, pressuring like, and pressuring. We were we were dating for four months, and he was asking why I wasn't pregnant. Yeah. So like, um, <laughs> yeah, that was years ago, but still. Like, what do you say to someone that 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 needs advice on that? Like, that needs advice on on not giving into the pressure. Yeah, and just. So, like, you kind of know when when you're ready, um, and you or if don't, you're ever yeah, ready, or if you're yeah. ever ready, and um, if you don't want to put yourself in that situation, then you ha- you have to be careful not to make that happen. But um, I don't know. I just uh, I think that nobody should become a parent if they don't really want to be a parent. Yeah. Because I've seen firsthand, like, a, I've seen a parent that doesn't want their kid. But at the same the kid time, hates them. At the same time, like, 90, 90% chance we were accidents. <laughs> I, I was, for sure. Yeah, my, I my think I was too. like to say that I was a surprise. Yeah, but. But they were probably like, you can have an, like an accident and then still want to be the parent of that. Yeah, true. But if true. you. Like, if you really if you're planning don't on not parent, having, yeah, yeah you're or if you're doing it for kids. a social status, like that's ridiculous. Or you're lonely or something, and yeah, you like, want a friend. No. Like, there's always maybe, yeah. Like I don't you think know. of, remember we watched um, Gilmore Girls, and uh, remember like Lorelai was what 16 years old when she had Rory, but she was okay with becoming a mom. Yeah, yeah. There's she different, was ready, you know? Different circumstances. It's kind of hard. Yeah, to... and then you have other people who <clears throat> have kids at, like, 25. Yeah. And they're still, like, I, you know, I, I haven't lived yet. I haven't, you know, I still want to make mistakes and go do stuff. And it's like, well, you know, our lives are going to change. They're going to become all about this little girl. Mm-hmm. And I think that if we weren't ready for that to happen, if we weren't ready to give up our individual lives to make this family our life, then I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. Okay, you can't so let the pressure. There's of your a huge pro- there's a huge problem with that because, and I'm gonna people You're might not like this, advocate. but like a lot of people that. Are, are intelligent and rational and think about things a lot and analyze and plan yeah. for the future. Those type of people aren't having kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? We're having a kid right now. I know, but like it's 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 more and more that the people like on Teen Mom are having kids. Like the complete I'm just gonna say complete idiots. <laughs> like a lot of idiots are having kids and then the smart people that are like smart. The redhead one? I guess. That's her own business. Yeah, yes. Okay, not all. I'm just yeah. saying, like, majority, <laughs> like, when you get into this, like, thinking they about it an and planning <laughs> and, like, what are you going to do in the future? And then yeah. sometimes that happens and then the, 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 the couple gets too old and they can't have kids. Or, yeah. There was a movie about this. I forget what it was called. Guys, if you know, let me know in the description. Um, Where, like, they do this whole breakdown of just, like, too many idiots are having kids and the smart people don't have kids because they, they talk themselves out of it talk themselves out of it or they're analyzing it too much or they're waiting yeah. till they're exactly ready financially and stuff yes. to like support the kid but in the meantime like idiots are just like having kids and they just wing it you know and yeah so i don't know where i was going with that but no i, I can understand what you're saying yeah um like we 
we knew we wanted to have a kid. Yeah, we were f- for sure ready. Yeah. And, and what's the threshold for like, like, what would you say <laughs> is like, if you're smart enough to have a kid? I think if you could, if you can, if you're presented with a problem and you can look it up and figure out that problem, then, then you, you can pass. Be a yeah, then you yeah. Be a <laughs> but if you, if you have, if you're presented with a problem and you're just like, I don't know what to do. And then I'm out of here. I don't know what to yeah, do. Yeah, then, freak out and you leave. <laughs> then like, I don't that think that guy. Should, okay. Okay, so the one, the young and pregnant, the guy that's addicted to gaming. Oh, yeah. yeah. And she was like, you know what? Like, but like, why are you being like this? And he's like, because I put in my two weeks at work. Because I'm going to be a stay-at-home dad and you're going to go to work. And she's like, but the doctor hasn't cleared me to go back to work. Oh, oh and no. Was like, oh, my God. But wasn't it just like a few days yeah. after the no, pregnancy? No, it was like less than two weeks. Less than two weeks. After she gave birth. And with no discussion. He no, just, he, yeah. quit it, he put in his two weeks at work. And oh, he, he decided that because she was complaining too much about being at home, uh, or there, he's, she was complaining too much about taking care of the baby that he was going to stay home and she had to go work for them. He's just going to play video games all day. Yeah. <laughs> all right, it's dude. like, you don't even have breasts, dude. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. How do you know? Yeah, I guess they're going to switch to formula. All right. So do you have uh, any other questions? I got I got yeah. some more. But uh, it's, it's my turn, turn. Butto. Okay. <laughs> um, I want to talk about, because we've talked about a lot about our little girl. Um, I want to talk about, uh, being (coughs) married. Okay. So, um, we have been, we got married August 19th, 2017. Mm Um, so we, we've been married eight months now in your head, like your whole life, what you believed marriage was. And what you've experienced in the last eight months and your expectation even before we got married. Uh, has it been the same? Um, okay, so as okay, so growing up <laughs> as a teenager, yeah. I came from a broken home, right? My parents were divorced, saw some pretty messed up stuff with like I can get into like my whole dad and like yeah. the stories with him, but um so my my perception of marriage wasn't the best, right? Um, I think they divorced when I was like 16. And uh, so growing up... That's later than I thought. I yeah. thought that they divorced a lot earlier. No, later in life for me. But they but they weren't... Marriage. They were like... It wasn't Separated good. Yeah, time, it, yeah, it wasn't... Yeah, it wasn't good for a while. So I always thought that um, marriage kind of... I never really thought about marriage. Like, as a, I guess as a guy too... Um, it doesn't really cross your mind too much, but when it would come up, I just, I just kind of like, I guess, or if she wanted to, that was my attitude. If she wanted to, or like, I guess, or my biggest thing late, like later on was I'd rather put the money for the wedding into a house, Mm -hmm. but I never thought that you could like, I don't know. I was stupid. I I never thought you can do a small wedding. Like just have a small wedding. (laughs) So I thought like, like, no, like I'd rather put it into a house and then one day party. That was my thing. But yeah, it doesn't have to cost 40 grand. Like it doesn't have to, you can have a smaller wedding and then still put money towards something, an investment or something. Yeah. But, um, when I met you, it like everything changed because it's like when you meet the right person and they, and you just, it's like the next step. I don't know. It's just like you become, it's more than just like having a girlfriend. Like when you get married, it's like your, your partner, like you're, mm-hmm. you're just like a, like a one, like you're one thing kind of. Yeah. And you're a you're team. team. Yeah, yeah. You're like this, this super bonded team. Cause like you can have a best friend and stuff, but like the best friend can go away. Yeah. But your wife or your husband is just like this this team and that always yeah. has each other's back and it's this bond and it's it's crazy yeah. i didn't i didn't think this would happen <laughs> like when talk to me six years ago seven years ago i'd be like no way but yeah. it's completely different when you get married it's just yeah yeah and what you, so what you thought about it about it even before we got married you is it different from what you thought it would be like it is different yeah it's um i thought i kind of had this funny attitude of when we got because we lived together already we lived in two different places together and then i thought when we get married we'd come home and do the same thing and be the same 
but it, it it's a it's a different thing. It's kind of hard to explain, but um, it's a different feeling. It's a commitment, and it's like, uh, yeah, this whole team thing. It does. I gotta say, uh, you kind of touched on it there. It does feel different. Like it doesn't feel like when we were engaged or when we were dating. Yeah. When I, when I get home, I don't know. It's this, it's a strange partnership. Um, and you don't have to worry about things. Like when I got sick at work and I called you, I, I knew you were going to come. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It wasn't like, Oh God, I, I hope, I hope Justin can come get me. It wasn't that it was, you got to come get me. And you're like, I'm on my way. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, yeah, from, from what I thought marriage was going to be like, I've, I've seen God, my parents have been married but 40 something years. I don't even know. Um, but they're a funny couple. Like they, they don't talk about things sometimes or like they're a like typical Irish couple, you know? And, um, they don't like, they'll get into fights and then they won't speak for days on end. And, uh, we don't, we don't really do that. Yeah. We, we usually talk about everything. Like everything's open. Yeah. Everything is on the table. If we have a problem, we'll voice our opinion. Or, yeah. But we like, we barely have issues. problems, yeah. issues. and the issues we do have when you really think about it is just like, Any? yeah, it's not really that yeah. big a deal. Like we've never, we don't really yell at each other. No. We never like, like it's never, especially recently, like not recent, like in the past two years or something, yeah. it's been just like really good. But like, that's the thing. Once you, if you're with the right person, you'll just know, yeah. like this is the person that I want to be. And we also work together now. Yeah. Something that's like that has brought us closer together like this whole youtube business has yeah absolutely brought us closer too because not only like like uh, at first i had a separate job jane had her her job but yeah. she still works as a high school teacher i fortunately like put um your whole soul my into whole this. soul into yeah. this yeah and built it up to what it is now but mm -hmm. um us working together it's just it's a whole different yeah. level too it's a different ball game yeah and yeah sometimes you see and the, remember that episode of the office when uh uh what robert california's wife wanted to work with him yeah and he was like under he no was, circumstances yeah, he just are you allowed to hire her yeah and then jim said something to him like like why wouldn't you want your wife to work yeah. here and then that's what made him realize we shouldn't be together oh that was awful yeah because jim said my my wife works five feet away from me and I wouldn't change anything about it. I love it. Yeah. You know, and she, she's on maternity leave right now and I wish, I, I wish that she were here. Yeah. I said all that. Yeah. That and I, I was like, wow, that's special. And I, that, that is how I feel about you. I do. I don't like for us to be apart. <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh at me. I know you, you, you laugh at me because you know, sometimes like you can be a lot and I need a little bit of space. <laughs> And I like I do this thing where I'll, she'll be talking and then I'm just like yeah. silent and I'll just like I'll move my hand up to her mouth and close, close her mouth, my mouth with his fingers <laughs> with my two fingers like really soft like but it's just when she just keeps because sometimes I can't stop because there's so much that happens in my head and I have to get it out and I'm just like like nonstop I was just driving or something I'm just completely <laughs> and then he quiet over and it's just like Doop. and I'm like. Mm. But I get it. But yeah, yeah, so marriage for me, um, you know, there was a time in my life where I wasn't sure if I ever wanted to get married. Yeah. And um, yeah, I couldn't, uh, like, I just, I didn't know if that's what I wanted. And then... Um, you traveled a lot before, yeah, right? I, I did. Mm -hmm. I loved traveling. It was great. And then I met you and I tried to keep traveling and then we got BMO and oh yeah then when you would leave you would feel I'd like you'd crying. miss them so much yeah I, miss... I would be on what is that thing called Skype sobbing because I, I missed you guys and you're like you've only been gone for 20 hours and I'm like I want to come home <laughs> and then that was the end of my traveling because yeah. I didn't want to be away from you guys and BMO, she doesn't like to travel. No, she hates it. Yeah, she doesn't like to leave certain rooms even. If I carry her to the basement, sometimes she hits me. <laughs> so your your perception of marriage was like it's different, it changed. Yeah, I thought uh I thought it would be different than it is. Um 
it's amazing. Uh, but something that always makes me laugh, and it comes from, like, teen mom again, funny enough, teen mom OG, OG. They always talk, like, a bunch of them are married, and they always say, like, oh, the first year is the hardest year of marriage. And I think about us, and we're, we're eight months in, and if this is the hardest year... Yeah, it's like, going pretty good. It's going to be a pretty great life. Yeah. We don't want to, like, boast. Jinx it. Yeah, <laughs> jinx it. Um, so, yeah, it's going yeah. pretty good. Yeah, it's going really, I really mean, good. The hardest part has been the pregnancy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, recently, do you want to talk about what's going on? Yeah, we can talk about it. Um, so, in my family, there's, um, like, something that happens in pregnancy. Uh, it's called preeclampsia. That it uh, happens to a lot of the females, and um, and then so what it does is it it can cause different things, but for um, for in my family it's caused early delivery, C sections, and um, being off work. So actually, we just found out today that um, I'm just kind of I'm having some symptoms of it. Well, but for the past, like, week, last, you've Yeah, since you've last been, Wednesday, I've been like, feeling pretty sick. Yeah, and, like, almost, like, fainting, pretty yes, having these, like, fainting the spells. Yes, to the point where JV has to walk behind me when I'm going upstairs and in front of me when I'm going downstairs in case I fall, because um, I just lose my footing. It feels like my feet are so skinny, and that if I take a step, I might t- topple over. Yeah, and, so she's been really dizzy. And yeah. Like, and you even had to, like, on the way to work, you had to, like, pull over. Yeah. And... And it, it, it just gets bit. scary. So, um, and then my blood pressure has been really high. And so, um, they decide today that I'm not going back to work uh, until the baby's born. And mm-hmm. then after that, I'll be on maternity leave. So I, I didn't even get to say goodbye to my kids. No. Like, I didn't know I wasn't going to go back. I didn't know yesterday was my last day. I feel so sad because like, you, cause you love your job. Yeah, right? I do. Yeah. I really do. I love being a teacher. I, and I don't think everyone can say that, but I think, you know, um, oh my gosh, I'm getting teary eyed. That's embarrassing. But sometimes you're in something and you just know that that's where you're supposed to be. And, uh, all I could think about was like, I didn't get to tell the grade 12s, like how much fun I've had with them over the last four years and how, Oh well, yeah, they're gone I, yeah, now. They're, how, like they're going to be know, gone. The so grade 12. great to watch them grow and change. And well, you can be there at track meets, right? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, yeah. See how I feel, right? Um, even my my boys, my track boys, like, and there's a couple girls too. But like, I, I didn't get to say goodbye to them, and that's so crummy. Like, cause I, I want to watch them grow and change and like become who they're gonna be, you know. And uh, I'm sure, you know, so many kids have graduated that were in my program, my track program, and we're still in touch. So I'm, I figure like. Even if I'm not there to say goodbye to these guys in their last year, I'm sure they'll still mm-hmm. end up coming back to me, you know? Yeah. But, um, yeah, like, I'm keeping an eye on Jane. Like, she'll be okay. But yeah. it's just, for me, when she goes to work, it's just so scary because yeah, and she's telling me, yeah, because she's, like, fainting and not feeling yeah. well. And she'll text me or call me from work saying she had to sit down for a while. I'm just like... I'll slide down like I'm, I teach phys ed and I'll like be in the gym and I'll suddenly have to find a wall and just slide to the ground and you have to leave your car at work I have to come pick yeah, you for up four days. so it's just stuff like that car, yeah. like you, we're not ex- expecting is just really scary but um yeah. we we did went to the OBG yeah we went to the GP first like the general yeah. practitioner like my doctor this morning mm-hmm. and then we went to the OB in the afternoon and, um, the baby's fine. We heard the heartbeat. She's, she's, she's getting her heartbeat great. strong. She's yeah. She's, she's beating growing. up her mommy. <laughs> yeah, so everything's good. But yeah, it's these just, these things are just, just me. Yeah, That's the we weren't expecting. But you're doing like it's going good. I yeah, think. you're doing well. And I hopefully, um, they're hoping by next week my blood pressure comes down if if we take away work. So, but we'll see what happens. Um, if it doesn't go down, then the dizziness won't go away. Man. I know, and then the like. I think one of the worst things is I can't read properly when it's when I'm dizzy, and um, so in the live streams I'm having trouble with the chats. <laughs> That's what you're worried about. I'll like, read the chat. You play. <laughs> and then all I got from la- the last time was like, "P Diddy Tech so angry at us. You don't give a shout out to P 
phantom ver twice and me zero and i'm like oh so, yeah shout out to pdd tech yeah <laughs> um, yeah all right it's so been, it's been scary yeah it's been scary um, but yeah that part that part is probably the 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 one i know you're using air quotes here the worst part of our mm-hmm. first year of marriage <coughs> yeah like just my health Right. Yeah. All right. So I want to take this time to thank our sponsors over on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. Uh, without our Patreons, uh, we couldn't do stuff like this. Yeah. So thank you guys so much, and we appreciate it. Our Patreons are growing. If you haven't checked it out, check out our Patreon page. That's where you get early access to shows. You get uncut episodes you get our access to our discord polls a bunch of other cool stuff so go check it out yeah you're also supporting the show like that's how we got our second mic so that we could do our podcast yeah and um also to our twitch subscribers if you have a twitch account and you have amazon prime you could sub to us for free <laughs> and that helps us out as well every time you say twitch account i hear this the song and i want to do the sprinkler oh <laughs> I don't know why I'm obsessed with the sprinkler. It's a dance, guys, for those who don't know. And we also go live every Wednesday night, Friday night, and Saturday nights. Yeah. Saturday night. So if you want to have a chance to actually talk to us, like have a back and forth, mm-hmm. come to our live streams. Don't be afraid. All right. So I got a question. Okay. Okay. What advice would you give to, I guess, like... People in high school and coming out of high school, or it could be any age, but like trying to find the right job. Oh, that's not where I thought you were going. No. Um, I have, like, I have a few. If they've never had a job or are they trying to look for like a career? They're trying to look for like their perfect job. Like, um, so if, well, sorry, if someone. So had, job and career are two different things. Okay. Career. So a career. A career. So a job is like, I'm yeah. going to something now until i figure out until what i I'm figure out my life. yeah so a, a final career like if you if someone okay. asks you do you love what you do and then they said yes like how do you find that um i have a few ideas on it's how to funny find it. because i've had few jobs that i haven't loved yeah well you're a special person <laughs> 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 you don't count. You yeah. loved working at McDonald's. I you loved, loved it. Like, I loved catering. I loved working at the gym. I loved working. At oh my the, gosh! I like. I got a job at a shoe store because I was afraid of feet. So I thought I worked there for six years because I thought maybe it would help me get over. Feet. your feet stuff. You still don't like feet. No, I hate feet too. So it's Ugh. good. That's, but, that's why we're together. Um, I remember. Gosh, I remember in high school. Um, this girl, I got brand new shoes because I, you know, I love shoes. Ironically, I'm afraid of feet. But I got these brand new shoes and they were Nike and I had been working for so long and they were like $200, which was like a lot of money. And uh, this girl was like, oh, can I see those? And she went to touch my foot. And I was like, no! And I like, pulled my foot away really fast. And then she thought that I thought she was going to steal my shoes. Oh. And she got really upset with me. And it was just... It, I just had just panicked because she was reaching out to touch my butt. <laughs> but you had a shoe on. I know, but I still don't like when people touch my. Don't, don't <laughs> seriously. Yeah, but I, just, I just pretended I was gonna touch. Yeah, <laughs> but I just I don't like when like people even even in feet. a shoe when people t- touch my feet. I yeah, think, you know. That had nothing to do with uh, what the question. Yeah, was. Yeah, I'm just saying like this is why I worked at a shoe store. And so here's the opposite trying. of hating feet. Yeah, people freaking love feet. Ugh, she's obsessed with feet, which I think is why she's our cat. Okay, so I have a few okay. ideas for this. But let me give. Just because right. I got off topic. Come on. You should we're married. You know I get off topic. Can you take over Penny Bimo? Yeah, yeah. Okay, go to daddy. There you go. <laughs> okay, so um I think in order to like you're not gonna find something you love immediately unless you're me. Um but even I had a tough time like starting out teaching. I didn't love what I was doing at first. Like I taught six different classes for a year and it's oh it was awful there was no like it, i taught 9 10 11 12 english and then 9 11 religion so it was all the time prepping for six different classes Damn. and i hated that and I, I would be at school every day till like 9 30 or 10 at night trying to figure out what i was going to do the next day you know um so you're you might not love it at first but you might grow to really like it and then maybe love it um, it's just, it's hard because <coughs> you never start out where you'll eventually be. Well, you usually don't. Um, 
It just kind of happens that you have to grow in, in your work. So, okay, now I'll let you go. Okay, so um, let me just, okay, let me try and word this right. You so, have so much time to prepare. I know, I, I don't know. When I, <laughs> you know me, I still get nervous. Um, you don't know me. So for me, what I did, I kind of, uh, I don't know if I heard this somewhere or if I made it up myself. I'm just going to say I made it up myself. So try and okay, find, no, correct me if you're wrong. <laughs> try and find you something are. that you did as a kid when no one else told you to do. Like, so for me, for example, as a kid, I would always like to build stuff. Like I would, I had Lego sets or I would build stuff out of uh, cardboard or metal pieces I, I found, or I'd go to Radio Shack and I'd buy batteries and motors and build, build all different types of things. So I, as I grew older, I gravitated towards uh, the, uh, I was an electrician for nine years. Mm -hmm. So that was like a, 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 something just, it was a gradual yeah, bridge. Yeah. So as a kid, I did yes. that and I became an electrician I did that for a while but I wasn't in love with what I was doing I kind of like I liked it mm -hmm. and it was kind of like a noble thing and it was pretty cool and that I got to work with stuff and your parents were proud to say you were an electrician uh, yeah. everybody was proud yeah. and and but the reality of being an electrician is just like grueling hard labor like and working outside for long hours and in the freezing kiss cold your wife as soon yeah as you're home, and you, you, and you first, yeah because you're all grinding. dirty you're breathing in toxic fumes you could die at any second because yeah. you can get electrocuted um it's just uh, a really hard job but i did it i did it for a long time yeah and you were good at it yeah so another thing that i did as a kid i would i kind of forgot about this um i was uh I would play with my my parents' camcorder all the time. So I would make movies. I would make uh, what's it called action ninja movies with my brother and I would uh, and and my best friend at the time, Shaz. We'd make like we have special effects and we have ninja suits we need, on. We and need a clip. I don't I, I don't have it. A lot, I I might Guys, have it, but I, I yeah I gotta look for it. So we'd make ninja yeah. movies. It was called Black Ninja Five. We make with my brother. He was a gymnast, so he'd always be the star of the movie, yeah. and I'd be the, the director. So I'd make those. Sorry, I'd, Black Ninja Five. Black Ninja Five, yeah. <laughs> so and we'd do that, and we'd uh, I'd make stop go animation films. Yeah. So I'd make a set, and I'd have uh, plasticine, and I'd make um I'd make movies like that. It would yeah. take weeks to like for like maybe five minutes of footage, and then I'd That's show my parents. Cool. And I'd also do like f SNL type skits. Yeah. So I would do all that, and that, and so I loved doing that. That was like one of my, I loved doing that as as a kid, and no one ever told me to do that. It was just something you did. It was just something I did. So as I grew older, I was kind of falling out of love with being an electrician. Yeah. And then I've I always wanted to do YouTube. Like me and my friends would talk about it all the time. Yes. But I was like super shy. And I, I, you know, I didn't, you know, the story. So I met you and then mm -hmm. it was the perfect fit. And now, now we're doing this and I, I yeah. love it. So kind of try and figure out something you did as a kid that no one told you to do. Can I tell you what yeah. I did as a kid? And then you, you tell me, um, if you think that I'm in the right profession. Okay, go ahead. And I'm talking about YouTube here. Okay. So, um, I don't know why I constantly would, um, mimic people and things. So, um, my parents, it was like, I, I was making my first communion. So my parents were making me, um, uh, pay super close attention at church. And then I would come home and I would, um, and whenever someone came over, I was like, even my cousins or anything, I'd be like, okay, please come into the living room. And then I would have mass and I would <laughs> be the priest. <laughs> And I would be wearing my robe backwards. I was wondering, like, where are you getting yeah. at? <laughs> and then I would be like, hallelujah. Your parents must have got so mad. <laughs> no, they, my mom was so proud because she's oh. like mega religious, right? Okay, I thought she'd get mad and, and no, like blasphemy she, or something. But no, because I had a little Bible that I read from. And I, even told, and I had a homily. Yeah. It was so... And then I gave out Cheerios oh, as the body of Christ. <laughs> Cheerios. Cheerios. And I would make them come up. And then I'd be like, the body of Christ. <laughs> and I'd hold it in front of them, put it in their hand. And then if they didn't say amen i would call them back <laughs> like you have to say amen and put it in your it. mouth in front of me 
and then they would do it, and then they'd have to go back, and then I took confessions. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't know what. I don't know what. I didn't yeah. know this. Oh my gosh, it came back to me as you started talking about stuff. Yeah. And then, so that phase was over. Like that was probably like two or three years that I was pretending to be a priest, mm-hmm. and um, and then I found out that girls couldn't be priests, and then I had I was outraged, <laughs> and because uh, I had told my mom I wanted to be a priest. And then um, I got my dad to start bringing me to, um, it's not a nunnery, it's like a like where the sisters live, like the nuns live. And then I made friends with a nun, her name was Sister Joan. And uh, I would go and we'd play boggle. I'd play boggle with the nuns. <laughs> this has nothing to do with this YouTube. Is, this is coming along. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I just, and then I would pretend I was a nun and I would like do videos that I was a nun. And then... Um, then Spice Girls came out, and I wanted to be a Spice Girl. So then I started interviewing the Spice Girls, and I would dress up as an interviewer. I would record questions. I had makeup on. And oh no! Then you would. Yeah, and then I would change into my Spice Girl outfit, and I'm like, <laughs> "Hi, how's it going?" Oh, <laughs> and I would God. answer questions. Do you have these videos? Um, I do. <laughs> oh wow! I gotta, we gotta get them on. VHS. We gotta yeah. figure out how to change them. Yeah, I'll figure I think it out. that our viewers deserve to see what an idiot I was. <laughs> I don't have the the. Um, Religious ones. Oh, okay. It's just My mom Spice wasn't Girls. comfortable with me filming. <laughs> so you used to make films too. Yeah, and and I was, all, but I had to be the star. Like it was all. I was. Always, I loved being behind the camera. Yeah, and I I had to be in front. Like, but I also had to direct and so you write did the both. script. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> so, interesting. Yeah, I couldn't stop, and uh, I would change locations. Like I would film in the basement. And then I would say, oh, we're here on location. And I would like switch it up. And yeah. um, my reporter name was Sally Jacobs. And uh, and then I got my neighbor. <coughs> she was this girl that lived down the street. She also had blonde hair. And then we started a fake band called the Blondies. And uh, we would do music videos in the backyard. <laughs> so, yeah, but that's... we would just like play a song. Yeah. And then you had to have all the words memorized. And then you would be dancing to it. And miming the words, and then afterwards, just one shot, one just one yeah, steady. There were no, many no. cartwheels, <laughs> and uh, yeah. I had I, when I would do it, I, I would uh, I would try and mimic Power Rangers that show. Yeah. So I would get different angles, and I'd get like I, my brother would do a, a flip, and I'd get the up angle, so it looked. It, it just you were good. You I were had a cinematographer. Whole, yeah, I had the whole thing. Oh no, I was all about me. Yeah. I put the tripod up <laughs> yeah, and, and went it. to town. Just, everyone watching, just like yeah, this is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I even had a uh, move where I would make like like I press an elevator uh, elevator button and I would go down. <laughs> it was like right in front of the camera, but I could never make it all the way down. So, so you the can last see, second, you can just see, see me like fall and then crawl away and then jump back into the shot. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, it was really bad. Um, so yeah, so that makes sense. So do something that no one told you to do. Yeah. <laughs> like when you were a kid, gotta kind of gravitate towards that. There, there was nothing that I did that wasn't, um, like being in front of the camera. Like mm-hmm. I, I this is this was my dream. Yeah. Yeah. And it's happening. Yeah. It's crazy. Well, and dream career. Like, what was your dream career? My dream career. I thought for we, the we've talked for about the longest time um, for me it was become an electrician and then try to get into like the Canadian space program um, yeah. electricians like try and work in that building yeah. and then be around stuff that goes to space because I knew I, I kind of I didn't know I didn't really try to be an astronaut like that would have been awesome just to be able to go to space yeah because I I'm a huge nerd and I love all that stuff I love Star Trek and all huge that nerd. so um, I kind of figured my parents like I didn't really go to university I couldn't really you know you have to go to university join the military yeah and do all this stuff to be a things. yeah be a scientist and get degrees like engineers aerospace engineers all like this that. I looked it up it was yeah. I, I I chose the wrong path in high school so you have to start yeah i mean at 14 years old you didn't make the right decision so it was out i figured i'd I'd work my way in to to work on something that went to space which is like maybe the next best thing but um when we went to washington yeah we went to nasa like one of the buildings out there and i was just like and i looked at the job list and i was just like I don't know if this is what I want to yeah. do. It wasn't that spectacular. I thought it would be this like magical place. With, yeah. But it was just kind of like the same stuff I was doing. Yeah. And I was just like, I got to figure something else out. 
Yeah. And I'm like, what what are my other passions? And then YouTube came into play and then I tried to figure out And D C was like just hi baby be most back for the fourth time, guess. Um but it, that was just before we started getting serious about YouTube too. Was it? It was D C was like our our final trip when we met up with Nabavi. Mm-hmm. Um, that's my boy from DC, but we met up with Nabadi and then after that was when we started to kind of like get more into YouTube. Yeah. I don't think we were vlogging back then. No, no because we, we would have vlogged that, that whole trip. Yeah. Epic so we started vlog. vlogging shortly after that. Yeah. And then yeah. like three or four months we vlogged, we didn't, didn't really get any traction because it's hard to get traction as a vlogger. People did not care about Yeah. Us. When you're, when you're just <laughs> nobody. So yeah. we, then we started doing reactions. And yeah. we did reactions and oh, vlogs. Oh, our first reaction videos are so bad. Yeah. They're, like, hilarious to watch. The camera's right Right here. in our face. Like, so And close. we're looking up at the TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. It's, like, incredible to watch because it's, it's so terrible. And yeah. then we didn't have lights, so we used to put the laptop right in front of the condo, like, window, and then the light would be hitting us. I got to say, though, that lighting was impeccable. Yeah, sometimes it was really good because yeah. of the sunlight. I was like, wow, look at that. Yeah, so that's my <laughs> advice on jobs and stuff. I guess um, I had a well, bunch of odd jobs growing up, too. No, that was your, your, so your dream job dream was that, job. and now you're living your dream job, right? Yes, now I'm living my dream job. So do you remember my dream job? Yeah, yours was be... You know, like at a football game in between, they'll like interview. They're like, so what did you do out there? Right what do you the think? Game, yeah. And they're just like, yeah, I'm just going to try harder. Next time we're going to get the <laughs> team together. We're going to work a little better. Yeah, I really wanted to be a sports reporter at the yeah. end of games and like just interviewing players or even even behind the desk as I got older. You know, like that was sort of my, my dream. And then two people I went to school with, like uh, Colin and Kayla are both kind of doing that like well Colin's a news anchor and uh, Kayla's doing sports and other things but I watch them and I'm like man like it's so great that they did that and then we're doing this different avenue and I think I like this yeah better because I like this because we're in charge there's no yeah. teleprompters, no one telling us what to do, what to say we can do anything we want like we yeah. have our own platform and um, you're not going to fire me no. <laughs> and I'm not going to you. No. And even if I start to look older, I'm not going to be taken out of this position. Yeah, like they're higher than yeah, next Yeah, like you girl. kind of have a shelf life. Yeah, as you're one gone, of those. Jane. Bimo, you're up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah. Know? And um, it's different with men. Like, I think like men get to stay on a bit longer. Like, even if they look seasoned, mm. they, they get a little salt and pepper in their hair and they yeah. still look good. But that's the whole thing I hated about my job because I would work for different bosses. Yeah, and, and then you just had to prove yourself constantly. Yeah, I'd have to prove myself and they were jerks because yeah. in a trade, it's a different type of boss. <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs> Jerk! <laughs> so it's an office yeah. joke for those yeah. who don't know. In, in trade, it's a different type of boss. It's not this, yeah. like, nice office environment where they can't really do things. As a, in a trade, they can just, like, tell you Can to... You? Yeah, at any Get second. Out of here. So I like this because we're our own bosses, no one telling yeah. us what to do. But it is a lot of work, but it's nothing compared to what I used to do. No. <laughs> no. And you enjoy it, right? Yeah, I enjoy it. It's it's really cool. So yeah, find something that you enjoy. And also, um, I did it as a side hustle for a long time. Like I we worked I worked all day as an electrician. Yeah, and then you would come home and edit videos. I would come home and edit. So I'd work I'd get up at 6 a.m work all day come home at like f- maybe five or six mm-hmm. go straight to the gym eat dinner and then edit from like seven to eleven yeah every day and that so, was back when some sometimes we would both edit like we would yeah, yeah. i taught jane how so to edit too. that was when you know some of the videos maybe weren't edited as well <laughs> no you did a good job but at the, this, uh, the, there's one that i'm proud of that i did it all myself and um bermuda Right? The Bermuda vlog. Yeah, yeah if you guys idea. have time, check that out. Because mm. um, it was so hard for me because I wanted to keep everything. And I just kept cutting stuff and like making it shorter. And um, I think it was called, what, what is it, Bermuda vlog 2 or uh, her, something about a hurricane? Something like that. Yeah, it's just, on our vlog channel. Yeah. Um, check it out. And yeah, so... But you were right. You told me that when, when you do, when you edit a video and you're... In the end, you uh, you did every part of it, and then you watch it and you see people enjoy it. You just feel so proud, 
That's and, a good feeling. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then I know my my mom watched the Bermuda one, and she was like, "Oh, it's so great!" <laughs> and it was like she never really compliments our, our videos too much. You know, she's uh, again Irish people; they keep their compliments in <laughs> in holding it in tight. Yeah. Um, but she was vocal about that one because she was in it. Um, and I, I felt so proud, and then you told me I did a good job, and you you rubbed my back, and I always know that you mean it when you when you're like, hey, you did good, and you like give me a little rub. Yeah, on your back. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, if you're gonna try and find like your dream career, I um just your passion. Your passion. Uh, don't just quit your job and do it. Kinda, no. <laughs> kind of try it out. JV work. balanced both for over a year. Yeah. Before we could finally afford to have him. Um, make the transition yeah. to a full-time YouTuber. And that was August 17th, 2017. So yeah. two days before we got married. Pretty recently. Yeah. Well, actually, no, that was like eight months ago, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, JV, um, yeah, Phantom Farrick and PJ Tech are always... And even even uh, Pepe is always teasing you about the wedding vlog. The wedding vlog. Oh, God. Yeah. And so, um, you know, since he went full-time, that's since he stopped editing vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> so There's so many reactions, guys. <laughs> I'm swarmed. The people want vlogs, JV. I know. We're gonna Tell actually him. this summer we're gonna do a lot more vlogs. Yeah, once we have our baby girl. Yeah, I'm gonna get the stabilizer for the camera and make really yeah. cinematic music video style vlogs. I'm gonna try that for a while, yeah. see how that works out. But yeah, go after your passion, uh try stuff and, yeah, uh, and see guys, where it goes. If you have suggestions for things that you want us to talk about in the podcast you can leave them in the comment section on YouTube or you can hit us up on one of the live streams or um, anything, really. Like, there's so many ways to contact us. Yeah, Instagram, Instagram is huge. Guys, go to our Instagram. Yeah, we have 56,000 subscribers on, on YouTube and 2,000 subscribers on Instagram. <laughs> Instagram. So if you message us on Instagram, we're far more likely to get that message. Yeah, um, yeah. But we will look out for it on the YouTube podcast three or podcast one or two yeah well. for sure so we did not get to the question that was asked about uh that was asked for us in the live stream but i think we should save it for all right four. yeah we'll save it and i'll talk about next time i'll talk about my our failure well my failures and before getting to this failures. point like, with like jobs and trying stuff because i tried a few things before i was successful right i I haven't. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. in terms of... <laughs> I'm sort you know, of just kind of... In terms of YouTube, I've, oh, I've tried... Okay. yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. No, oh. no, yeah, in terms of YouTube, oh, okay. I tried in a bunch of stuff. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, we'll talk about Remember it next time. Remember my original vlog? Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about it next time, but I, yeah. wanna, I don't want to make people think, like, we tried something and it just worked automatically. No, you know, we tried a it's bunch a of, trial and Yeah, and you can't... I thought you meant for careers, and I was like, no, no, no. I just kind of, like... No, no, not that. You kind of, yeah. I'm just, you can't be afraid to fail because then you just learn something new. But yeah, we'll get into that next time. Yeah, it's like if, in, in Young Justice, you know, we're like the, the light. light. Yeah, <laughs> every time every they fail. Every failure, we're like, yes, we learned this. Exactly. Yeah. It's kind of a good lesson. Um, Come on, that was, that was a good, that was that good. Was a nerd reference for you. Thank you. Like little, I appreciate that. Dap. Yeah, Thanks. You're learning. <laughs> um, so yeah, go to your iTunes, guys. This is super important. Go to iTunes, um, leave a comment, leave a rating, a high rating well, for us. Well, we don't have iTunes. Then go to your Android, any podcast app, uh, leave a rating, leave a five-star rating, subscribe to us. And if you don't have that, go to SoundCloud. Mm -hmm. That counts too. So go to SoundCloud, listen to us there, download the episode, follow us on SoundCloud, yeah. hit that follow button, and uh, yeah, leave a rating there too. And guys, share it with your friends because I think that this could give you guys something to talk about. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Sharing is big. Yeah, sharing share is it. caring. Yeah, and on SoundCloud, there's a share button. You can share is it there? on your yeah. You can share it on your social media or your so Facebook cool. or whatever. Yeah, you can follow us on Facebook too if you want. That's still a thing, right? <laughs> yeah, we're still on. We're yeah. still doing that. All right, guys, that's yeah. episode three of the podcast. It's Expect over. it every Thursday. I'm gonna try and drop it in the mornings, but we'll see how that goes. Every Thursday yeah. morning, check it out, and it goes on YouTube on the weekends. Whenever JV has time to edit that video. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Thank, thank you, you so much, much for liking, liking commenting, commenting, subscribing. Catch you for right here. Peace. Peace. If you like that video and you want to see more, go ahead and click that square button. And if you want to subscribe, click that circle button. Thanks for being part of Team Go.